Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we've been having some problems with the audio recording. Um, there's been some feedback, so what I've done is I've rearranged my USB ports. Seems that one of the connections was sharing the port with another connection, and it couldn't handle it. So I have rearranged my ports, and by rearranging my ports, I am able to do a video without having feedback and distortions okay wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the developments we put up a video talking to all of you about the social security account and the need for setting up a new social security number some people are saying that that's not necessary but please understand they're only saying this others are saying it is necessary please understand we have two separate court officials who are saying one is saying that yes you must get a new social security number the other is saying no you don't get a new social security number you just keep the same one and you have that one updated ladies and gentlemen my thinking is I do an SS5 form and I do it as an adult now I will let you know mine let's let's show it to you because you guys know me I ain't scared of nothing so we're gonna show it to you so you'll have to give me a second you know I'm gonna have to pause y'all I, I don't wanna block you but I'm gonna have to pause you there's a reason for that one second I apologize for that I was doing some editing I figured it would be better if I did the editing um, for the most part the only thing I changed was the names the birth dates and other things I'll show you as I go along like I said some people are saying no when you do it you gotta put in a, a number two you put in a social security number ladies and gentlemen this is what I am doing not what you should do none of my videos are what you should do I'm not telling you what to do because I require that you do your own research and homework I require that so there you don't have a choice in that matter okay you need to do your own research and homework and I've already done told most of you because some of you are new some of you don't know who I am from Tom Dick Mary Jane or Joe but I guarantee you one thing you'll find something different when you're dealing with me I'm gonna show you what the I'm talking about the other people are not gonna show you what the, they're talking about they're just gonna tell you to do something and like an idiot you're gonna do it and then when you get in trouble you want to be sitting up there trying to figure out how to get out of trouble you are just gonna try stuff just to be trying stuff there's a young lady who I was in communication with very nice young lady I mean extremely nice young lady will give you the shirt off her back if she thought that would help you well she got into a little bit of trouble and now they're trying to make an example out of her they're trying to make it seem like the stuff she was doing was illegal or wrong and I haven't been able to get in touch with her for the last week which means that she might be inside of a facility at this time and they are probably doing that to stress her out to get her to sign a plea but as I told her and I tell all of you sign the stupid please you just void out the contract when you go to a probation officer but they're trying to put her through the ringer why because she tried a lot of stuff without doing her research she tried a lot of stuff because people suggested it on video ladies and gentlemen you can't be like that okay you cannot be like that now do you have a right to a social security card of course you do that's why they don't charge you a fee for it you didn't know that go back and look and see go and ask the Social Security Department how much they charge to issue us a Social Security card for the first time for the third time for the fifth time go and ask them and see that they never charge a fee why is that why is that interesting ain't it well anyway let's go on with this document number one for me not for you I put my name and I indicate to them as they have indicated that I don't have a last name but I put due to religious belief because I don't feel like having a conversation with the idiots the birth certificate is proof enough but this 
will let them know the reason why the birth certificate only contains one name. I don't want to have that conversation with them. They're going to read the document. Full name at birth. N.A. I had no name at birth. Others names used. N.A. Because the adult has used no other names. I'm doing this for the adult. I'm not doing this for the minor. I'm not doing this for the child. We all know that there's a difference between the minor and the child. The courts tell us all the time. Okay, there is a difference. Then it says, social security number previously assigned to the person number one. The item number one is an adult. So that person has never been assigned a social security number. But they said that you must put a social security number in there and already blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, I just spoke with someone yesterday who was insisting that a social security number must be there. In a conversation with someone else, he was insisting that a social security number must be there as if he knew definitively that that was the answer. That disturbed me greatly because he doesn't know definitively. He's only going off of what other people told him. He hasn't done the research. So for me, it's still going to be the same way that I've indicated. Same way I did before when I got my social security number. For the minor. Place of birth, you keep that the same way it is on a birth certificate. Date of birth, the same way it is on a birth certificate. Citizenship. I am now checking because this is a minor. Okay? This is a minor. This is a minor. This right here, whew, I'm an American. Now, people say you don't want to be an American. That an American don't mean what you think it means. No, I'm going to be an American. Now, here's the thing. You see where it says, are you Hispanic or Latino? I put no. But this says your response is voluntary. It means I don't have to put a response there. Then it says select one or more. Your response is voluntary. One or more. So the person, one person told me they, they clicked white. <laughs> Do you know race? There's no such thing as a white race. I know we got a lot of morons out there who would disagree with me. But there's no such thing. You, the guy was talking to me and we understood white means without color. It means devoid of color. There is no such person on this planet. There is no such group on this planet that's devoid without color. Other than plain paper. You know the paper you use to print on? That's white. I ain't never seen a person that's white. You see the background of the screen right here? That's white. See that right there? That's white. I ain't never seen a person look like that. Not even powder look like that. Y'all remember powder? If y'all ain't seen the movie powder, go and rent the movie powder. Download the movie powder. You're gonna like the movie powder. Anyway, let's get back to this. Sex. Male. There's no transgender section, people. So don't even Think about it, because transgender is not a sex, you more, <sighs> sorry, the only ones who can be transgender are the hermorphodites, so anybody who wants to be transgender is calling themselves a hermorphodite, yet they don't have the physical attributes to prove that, if you don't know what a hermorphodite is, go look and ask your mama, <clears throat> alright, what, that wasn't rude, that was me saying that's not the subject, mother, alright, number nine, parents name Emily Reby Conley okay ERC then it says social security number you see where it says check unknown we have one person an official says leave that un unblocked unchecked I put in a I put in a not applicable because you'll find that 9b and 10b this is B that's B is only for minors so you don't have to fill that section out so he was correct about that has the person listed in one or anyone acting on his or her behalf ever filed or received a social security number before not as an adult so the answer is don't know okay then we go down to name shown on the most recent social security card for the person listed in item one in a Person number one never received social security card. That's why we can skip 12 and 13. But I put NA in both of them anyway. Okay? NA, NA, NA. Not applicable. Then today's date. 
831. It ain't 831. Well, it's 831 for the sake of this video. So shut the... Then we put the phone number. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the phone number, Google Voice, for me. I didn't change that. Some of you are going to call that. I spoke with one guy. Well, I didn't expect you to answer the phone. People, I do answer the phone. But I don't answer the phone just to talk about anything. Like I said, I'm not your repository for information. So if you want to take the chance and get an attitude, you can try calling that number. But if you're calling me just to get information from me, it don't work that way. If you're calling me thinking that you're going to give me some information that you think is going to be helpful to me, as if you're giving me something new, <laughs> and you're new to all of this, then you can stay up off my phone. Because we don't play that. If you think you're going to play me, look, in the last three days, I've had two people call me, telling me that they've had success. Neither one of the people who called me has had success that has occurred in less than three weeks. One guy, it hasn't even been four days, but he's talking about he had success. Okay? Those people don't get calls back. They don't get any more conversations with me. I don't have time for them. Okay, success means seven, eight, nine, ten months have gone by or more. Not one week, not three weeks, not one month. That's not success. Okay? Finally, you put your address. Okay, now I put non-military for zip code. You don't have to do that. You don't follow what I do. You don't do it just because I did it. Okay? And it, you notice it says, do not abbreviate. Excuse me? Who the y'all think y'all dealing with? Uh-uh. We, we don't deal with, do not abbreviate. Of course I'm going to abbreviate. I got the right to do whatever the, I want. Do not abbreviate. Remember, the box, anything in parentheses, not included. So, uh, some assembly required. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember I told you to put a line through on the penalty of perjury? Well, I added a line. You see this right here where it says, it is true and correct to the best of my knowledge under the penalty of perjury under the Constitution of the United States of America. Nobody can argue with me that I can do something under penalty of perjury of the Constitution of the United States of America. Okay, I know I'm giving some of you some ideas. I just started doing that about a week ago. Should have been doing it longer, but about a week ago. So I decided I'll add it to this. Then I added this. I have tendered my notice of resignation of registered agent to the Secretary of State. Uh-oh, I got to get rid of that double S. It's only supposed to be one S. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Ooh. Hold on. Whew. Gotta get rid of that. That 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 right there shouldn't be there. Got some correction mamunj. Oh no, it was correct. <laughs> uh that S is supposed to be there. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That S was supposed to be there. Because I sent it to several secretaries of state. Okay? So for me that S was supposed to be there. By that's my electronic signature, and I put my hand signature there. People understand this. At first, I told you to put self. I'm going to say other. Age of majority, competent adult. Okay? That's my signature. See, your relationship to the person in item number one is age of majority, competent adult. That's how I'm doing mine. Does that mean you have to do yours that way? No, it doesn't. What it does mean is that's how I'm doing mine. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I did this. I sent this to my people um, the other day. But I figured I want to show it to you. I was at a... Um, what's the name of that stupid place? I was at a restaurant and or a store. I think it was a store. Excuse me. I had stopped at a mall, and the name of the mall was Tracy! And I stopped at the mall, and when I stopped there, because I was doing some traveling last week, I paid for a product that cost about 
ten dollar no a little bit over ten dollars or a little bit under ten dollars I don't remember but I gave him a 20 and this is what one of the bills that I received from the cashier I don't think they knew that they had this bill I think somebody gave them this bill by mistake but if you will take a look it says silver certificate this certificate or certifies that there is on deposit with the Treasury of the United States of America one dollar see one dollar ladies and gentlemen see that little blue seal that's how I noticed the difference because there was blue on the dollar bill but notice this is series 1957 B okay series 1957 B interesting ain't it and the bill is in fairly fairly relative good condition I just when I made a copy I put void see uh, hold on let me show y'all I put void on the document see I put void there so that there would be nobody saying I was Connor fitting because you know they do stupid things like that now I spoke with someone he gave me some information nah that's not it um, the individual gave me some information we can close you yes yes okay um, he gave me some information and he talked to me about copyright and we were talking about the our style money orders and other money orders and he told me about the way he was doing money orders I did not ask his permission to reveal that information to you all uh, if and when I talk to this person again I will get that information and if he tells me it's okay then I'll reveal that information to you what I'm calling about is he also gave me some other information and I'm gonna make this suggestion to you when dealing with the Treasury we were thinking that there were two main numbers zero 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 five one two and zero 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 five one eight ladies and gentlemen those were the two main rounding numbers when it came to Treasury checks being issued to people uh, through Social Security however there are other Treasury routing numbers and individuals have been having success using those other routing numbers I'm not telling you to use those routing numbers I'm telling you that Social Security number is the one you should be using because Social Security Administration is a bank as I've told you many times the Treasury anything that has a routing number is a bank I mentioned to you all about the SWIFT codes many of you are misunderstanding about the SWIFT codes I can't help you gain a better understanding about the SWIFT codes you see many of you just want to try things just to be trying things you gotta stop doing that that's how people get in trouble you see that's how rumors get started it started with the jealous people and they get mad for something they had and somebody else is holding I'm sorry who Club Nouveau rumors anyway ladies and gentlemen you gotta stop trying things just to be trying it that doesn't work that will only cause you pain that will only hurt you so please stop okay um, we have people wanting to know more about the lawsuit that's being filed that is a quatom see oh I didn't do that right I put a T that's supposed to be a QUI a quatom lawsuit basically that means that we have to go through the attorney magenta hold on see oh see quatam suits filed under the false claims act this means that regarding the suit I'm the relator okay see as private attorney generals this is where you get a lot of people doing the research so can you be a private attorney general technically you can why it says one of Congress's objective in modifying the act was to encourage the use of quatam actions in which citizens are authorized to bring as private attorney generals lawsuits on behalf of the United States you must bring the lawsuit on behalf of the United States you want to be the relator you want to relate the information to whomever did you bring the suit before 
okay this is the suit that we're bringing and <laughs> notice what it says I, I want you to see now this is what this is the ignorance let me bring it bigger it says the government must then decide whether to take over the case on its own if it does not notify the court that it is taking over the case it become the relators to litigate okay so what we have to do is we have to wait for them to respond ladies and gentlemen we told you we were doing a lawsuit we told you that it was being reviewed it has been reviewed by at least four different attorneys to make sure that we have had the information placed in it correctly okay now if you want to know more about the relator and the quatam and the um, the way this suit is going I would advise you to do some research on quatam lawsuits for instance the government has 60 days and they can ask for an extension so that's what um, most people don't realize see sometimes 60 days is simply insufficient the government for good cause shown may ask for additional time ladies and gentlemen there is no such thing as good cause shown that's just a phrase that's why that phrase is put there in quotation marks it doesn't mean what you think it means and that's the problem most people who read this lawsuit will not understand it fully so I've tried to explain it over the course of a year or so exactly what's going on basically it works like this we're bringing pretty much the same lawsuit the federal government brought against the banks using pretty much the same language but we've added several points that's why our lawsuit is almost twice as long but we're putting in our lawsuit as an affidavit and we're making sure we're putting it in as evidence and we're covering like I do with most of my papers more than one jurisdiction more than one particular point so that they cannot simply dismiss it on a technicality okay so that's just giving you an update on that thank you for allowing me to do that uh, let's see I think we are here ladies and gentlemen this is not current but this right here now remember this was put up August 1st this was as of yesterday which would have been the third so in two days just this video right here 3,000 of you but if you add this up wait a minute hold up wait a minute let's do that I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi on my rooting device no I haven't rooted it yet they don't have a root program for it and I'm waiting for it on bended knee because I need my root program what we're gonna do is we're not gonna sit up here and go too far because I ended up leaving my Wi-Fi hotspot on all night last night wasn't my intention but from that we have received well over 400 subscriptions to this particular channel wasn't looking for that I don't advertise purposely because don't want oh there we go okay so we should be connected in a second and when we connect we're gonna let that refresh itself oh come on now reload anyway I not looking for that many people now again there are people who send me stuff and they don't realize that what they're sending me is something I already have and I don't say anything to them because it's not my job I'm not trying to correct them okay <laughs> this is uh, somebody sent me this video from YouTube it says check this link because it has documents on there that give you more an insight that you already have and I found it very interesting I downloaded it before oh, excuse me before you take it down and it speaks about government agency departments and about who the debtors are and I did notice something at the bottom that said 
agriculture what you talked about in your videos before so it might be worth a look ladies and gentlemen first I appreciate that but here's the thing I don't watch other people's videos I can't gain insight from other people's videos I need proof the same type of proof that anybody would require I need proof okay and so just get sending me a video I don't care if it has links I don't care if it has documents most of the documents people put on their links are non-governmental non-official but even if it had governmental or official documents I don't have the time to look at it um, if you can see the bottom of the screen and I don't think you can but these are all documents that I have to complete okay and I have to complete because these are the people whose documents I'm working on which creates a problem for me I was just trying to show you guys the amount of viewership that has increased threefold usually my videos get 500 views no we're now at 3,000 for that one video 1500 for the second one and I know that that's going to increase um, definitely by later today so give me a second to put y'all on pause till it pulls up before we go ahead and take a look at that I wanted to mention something ladies and gentlemen I mentioned to a couple of people that as of late I've had some issues with um, breathing that I know that it's directly associated with the stress levels and the lack of sleep the fatigue worrying about all of you and I said that I was getting ready to slow down with all of this getting ready to walk away because I need to be concerned about my health could it be that the government is actually causing these problems to me I don't care I don't care. I don't care. I don't give up about the the so-called conspiracies. I just told people I don't want to hear your m theories. I don't want to hear about your health remedies. I don't care about your concern for my health to where you need to give me your medical advice without being a so-called medical expert. Now I said medical. I'm not talking about being PhD okay I'm not talking about that type of medical I'm talking about being able to cure diseases you can't nobody has cured muscular dystrophy it was first diagnosed in 1903 nobody has cured muscular dystrophy so please stop alright I made it I'm almost 50 I made it this long ladies and gentlemen most people don't get to this point okay they're actually surprised I got two forms of muscular dystrophy and myasthenia gravis but hold on I gotta shut this off because this thing will come on when I don't want it to come on now let's look into this respiratory complications of muscular dystrophies with an S pulmonary complications including chest infections now I don't know what this uh, at the lecticus. I don't know what that is, so I cannot. Well, let's do it again. Eight lect atis, uh, isis. This is an uh, infection. Don't know what it is, though. Pulmonary hypopulsia. Ventilatory failure. I don't want to have no ventilation failure. <laughs> anyway are the leading cause of death and muscular dystrophies uh oh do you see that right there but I know this I knew this in advance so in order to prolong my health my life I have to be very 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 aware of this and take the precautions necessary okay let me explain to you how this works get rid of that junk because I wasn't trying to do the blank screen now we're gonna go with this one progressive weakness can affect muscles associated with breathing 
I know my lung muscles are weak. I know that that's why I'm having breathing problems. People with muscular dystrophy may eventually need to use a breathing apparatus such as oxygen tubes. I know this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't need you. Your concern is appreciated. Please don't get me wrong. But 49 years, we were di we diagnosed this in 2008, so we're not even a full 10 years. But if you can imagine, since 2008, all of the suggestions from all of the people who found out I have muscular dystrophy, shut it up, is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't need it. Don't want to hear it. I don't give up, okay? I don't want to hear it. But people keep trying to force me to listen to their bulls after I told them no. I had to tell this to a lady who decided she was going to force me to listen to her when I called on the phone. And I told her after I stopped her mid-sentence, woman, I'm a grown man. Did I tell you I did not want to hear it? Then that means I don't want to hear it and you don't have my permission to force me to hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you no, I promise you, the next one of you who decides to tell me what I can do to prolong my health, I promise you, you will not be able to communicate with me from that point on on any level about anything. I promise you that. Well, you shouldn't have told people. Guess what? Those of you who have that stupid mental attitude, hold on to that to yourself. You don't get to tell me what I should have or should not have done. Okay? Well, then you got to face the consequences. And you got to face that finger that is pointed right at you. And it's twin brother. And you can sit and spin for eternity for all I care. You see, it's your ignorance that gets on my nerves. People say, well, you seem to have an attitude. I mean, the way you talk to me is kind of offensive. It's kind of rude. Ladies and gentlemen, you better believe it's offensive and rude. You had better believe it's offensive and rude. Because that's exactly how I feel. Between these two videos right here, you have almost 6,000. Okay? Now, well, that's 2,000. That's 5,000. A little bit over 5,000. Then between these videos, you have almost 7,000 views. This has been all since the 1st. Today is the 4th. And this is the morning of the 1st. Uh, the 4th. And this one... This is just one that I did first. This is a video, as you can see, I did on 724. I did well before August 2nd. Now, I have people talking to me saying that they are just now finding out about this information and that blah, blah, blah. Get rid of here. Uh, hold on. Let me show you something so you can see it. That's the 21st. I don't want those series. No. No. Oh, guess what? This right here? I'm told that there is an article. I've been asking the person to send it to me, and I'll talk about it. Regarding the Moors, like I told you, the average video, roughly about 500, 400, but you see there are a couple that get 1,000. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's pendants on your home. Ladies and gentlemen, very powerful tool when you understand what a less pendants is. And the all caps name equals ward of the court. I've had several appears to me. Uh oh, this says copyright. Let's see what the copyright thing is. But I had a couple of judges agree that the information. Uh, okay, no viewing restrictions. That's what we needed don't care about the rest all right ladies and gentlemen they've agreed with the fact that a US citizen is a ward of the court a US citizen is a minor this is not about anything else it's not about a public and private this is not about Jack and Jill this is not about Benny and Mac this is not about Tommy and Ron this is all about pay attention to these words minors minors now look, I had a conversation with someone yesterday, and I don't care if that person gets a hold of this video, but they were telling me that a judicial official had a conversation with them, 
and he used terms that I created in his speech and communicating with me saying that the judicial official used the same terms in the very same fashion that I used them. Ladies and gentlemen, I say the same terms all the time. What are those terms? I'm not going to talk about it now because it's not the point. That's not what I'm trying to say. So stay on point with me. Get get Stop doing that, that getting off topic. People, I, I know people do that all the time. It, well, including me, because the information I looked up, as a matter of fact, let me show you that document. So I want you all to hold on one second, okay? G give me, indulge me for just a little bit longer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had you on pause for just a brief moment. Actually, it wasn't a brief moment. Uh, electasis. At least I took the time to hyphenate it and punctuate it to be able to pronunciate it. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to talk about the other thing in just a moment. But electasis is basically a collapse of the long part or all of it. And it says it's much commonly, less commonly, all of the lung, just part of it. This is also as a result of Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, one of the side effects. And it's a possibility. It, stop it. It's a possibility. It does. It's not absolutely necessary. Now, routine evaluation of respiratory function. Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is associated with gradual loss of muscle function over time. Loss of respiratory muscle strength with ensuing ineffective cough and decreased ventilation. Yeah, there's been some coughing issues. Anyway, leads to pneumonia. See, the P is silent. Pneumonia. Okay? Electasis. Electasis, excuse me. And respiratory insufficiency in sleep. I've been telling people that this is not sleep apnea. Where you, 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 you stop breathing in your sleep. This is not a stop breathing. This is a not being able to breathe. Big difference in, well, he has sleep apnea because when he's asleep, he, he starts breathing. No, no, this is not being able to breathe while asleep. Okay? Big difference. So, again, people want to offer advice and they don't understand, but yet they still want to offer advice. <laughs> it's a shame, ain't it? And while awake. See? Insufficiency. Respiratory insufficiency in sleep and while awake. <laughs> Amazing! Exactly what I'm complaining of. Symptoms of Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. These complications are generally preventable with careful, serial assessment of respiratory function. G ladies and gentlemen, it is not preventable. It is not, and they know it. Okay. For patients with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, the optional frequency of visits to a physician is not known. Respiratory evaluation of individuals with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy includes obtaining a thorough health and physical examination, had many thousands of those. Measurement of pulmonary functions, had many of those. And evaluation of sleep disorder breathing. Nope, sorry, that one doesn't work either. We've done that. Most patients with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy do not realize when they have lost respiratory muscle strength to the point that they no longer have an effective cough until the respiratory viral infection leads to a prolonged cough or to pneumonia. Measurement of respiratory function and respiratory muscle strength allows for a clinician, clinician to predict who will require Assisted coughing and ventilation. What? Anyway, various levels of impairment of pneumonia function, pneumonia, uh, pulmonary pneumonia. I, I was stuck on pneumonia up here, y'all. Pulmonary function and gas exchange have been reported as associated with an increased risk of respiratory complication and death. Oh, no, I'm about to die. One study reported a median survival of 3.1 years to 5 years survival of only 8% when, I don't know what, FVC fell below 1L. 
C number three. Having FVC, where is FVC? I don't know where FVC is, y'all. I ain't seen this. The first time I've seen FVC. Less than level one, L remains the best negative predictor of survival in patients with the Cheney's muscular dystrophy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not dying. I won't be dead tomorrow. I won't be dead next week. My respiratory issues are not issues for the most part at this time. Although they are issues, they are not issues. What, what do you mean they're, they're issues, but they're not issues? Pulmonary manifestation of neuromuscular disease with special reference to Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, Duchenne, and spinal muscular atrophy. Oh, is that the volume? I don't want to read your full reference list. Now let's see what this FCVC is. Uh, Edwards changes in spirometry over time as a prognostic maker of patients with the Cheney's muscular dystrophy. No, don't even explain what FCVC is, stupid mother. <coughs> All right, but ladies and gentlemen, this is just to let some of you know that most of you don't know what you're talking about. I don't have to do a self-diagnosis. I already know the disease I have, and I already know what the side effects were going to be, because I spoke to many of experts who deal with muscular dystrophy. People say, you need to change your diet. You need to sit and spin. But I was only being, I don't give up what you were being. You need to sit and spin. When I tell you I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. I don't need your opinion. Unless you have a cure for muscular dystrophy, of which you do not, because no one has been able to cure muscular dystrophy from its onset. As you see, there are no cures being offered here. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to do it. You do it. Just Google cure for muscular dystrophy. Now, here's the site. Um, it's called the secretlanguage.com. This is the site where I put in my birth date. You see the birth date there. And what it does, it tells me about people born on this birth date what are the commonalities visionary they say i'm a visionary imagine it's a, oh i have an imagination i'm guided guided by what <laughs> big hearted what the i'm sorry big hearted me <laughs> i don't think so self-assured self-assured i'm not self-assured i'm not cocky <laughs> please i'm not self-confident um aspiring i aspire to do hamlet at Cambridge. Anyway, strategic. I don't have a strategy for that, miss. Uh, hard driven or hard driving. Hard driven? <laughs> Keep it moving! Sorry. Generous. <laughs> Here, take the shirt off my back. Uh, impractical. You know what? No. Uh -uh. I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to do it. Th I, don't, I don't care if that way is the easy way. I'm going to do it this way. Um, out of touch. You're out of touch. You're out of time. What? You guys don't know the song? By Hall & Oates? You're out of touch. You're out of time. Anyway. Um, troubled. Oh, God. I have so many problems. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. I'm in trouble again. Anyway. Self-unaware. Who am I? I don't know who I am. I'm not aware of myself. Uh, secretly insecure. What do I do? I, I, I don't know. Do I do this or do I do that? Oh, God. I, security. Anyway, fussy. Now, look. here. I, I'm tired of talking to you about this. I'm not going to keep having this conversation with you. Okay, anyway. Uh, unyielding. I'm not moving. I'm too stubborn for my own good. I am not moving. Okay. Self-sacrificing. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, I've devoted so much of my time that it's affecting my health and I'm going to have to walk away from this. How many times have I said that? Overly independent. I have always been on my own. My parents recognized the fact that I would be on my own. That's why they taught me all the necessary things so that I could be on my own. I have traveled by myself, to myself, with myself. I love myself. Anyway. So, like I said, there are commonalities with people born during a certain time of year. And I have already tested that by speaking to people who were born during a certain time of year. See, 
I don't care about that other stuff. What I'm caring about is this stuff right here. Those born December 16 are among the most imaginative people in the year. This is not to underestimate the physical side. Physical? Let's get physical! Physical! Let's get phys Oh, not the time for that? Okay, I'm sorry. However, which is highly developed and stakes out its claim on their personality as well. As a matter of fact, one of the major themes in the lives of December 16th people concerns transcending physical limitations of the body and reaching for the stars. Reaching for the stars. Reaching for the, reaching for the stars. Come on now, step on in. I'm sorry, we're not going to do the fry. Sorry. It's written in the stars. We're not going to do that. Okay. December 16th people are not the easiest to live with. <laughs> Man, you know you're difficult to get along with. You're difficult to live with. I can't stand being around you. Emotional problems of all sorts plague them. Oh, God. I got so many. I'm bipolar. I'm tripolar. I'm quadpolar. I'm sectpolar. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Well, why don't you be nonpolar? Nonpolar? Could you really do that? I think so. Let's see, what's the next one? It says, usually as a result of their own complex nature. I'm complex. That means I have many different facilities. <laughs> I'm a complex. Anyway, those who live with them must be extraordinarily understanding and sensitive to their needs. Ladies and gentlemen, I will promise you that that is absolutely the truth. Anybody who's ever lived with me, and I've had several roommates over the years, including my family, if they are not understanding or sensitive to my needs, they get this. Get out! I'm sorry. Anyway, let's continue. Not the very least of which may be the need for periodic solitude. Yes, I isolate myself. But according to scripture, the one isolating himself will be plagued with all self-longing. So you got to be careful about isolating yourself. But I don't isolate myself on purpose. I isolate myself as a result of it being necessary. Solitude is necessary for my thinking functions. Indeed, some born on this day must be in their own world to work effectively. Look at that. Didn't I just say that? I need the solitude in order to think effectively, which is what I, the time I took, which is why you see the videos being the way that they are. I need to think and I need to focus and I can't get that when there's a lot of people around because people are distractions. Thus, they do best away from offices and organizations. That's right, I can't work in an office, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot. I cannot work in an office building. I cannot work in an enclosed structure. I get very bored. It, it really stresses me out. That's why all of my jobs have been away. Or, like what I do now, my own schedule. Alright, let's continue. In an environment where the demand they meet are primarily their own. That's right, I set my own agenda. <laughs> Often, December 16th people feel guided or even instructed by a higher power in whose service they find themselves. I tell everybody, I serve the true God. I don't serve no one else. I do not serve man. I do not serve beast. I do not serve organizations. I refuse. That's why I could never serve in the army. But I can serve my God because I trust my God. I love my God, for he is my God. Oh my God! Anyway, this power may be social, religious, or universal in nature. Uh, no. Not really, because serving Jehovah is not about religion and universal. He created the universe. People think the universe is all there is. The universe is not all there is. The universe is only a segment of existence. Only a small segment. Okay, scientists know that. That's why they talk about multi-universes. But their problem is, when they talk about multi-universes, they want to talk about parallel universes, which is stupid. Because you can't have a parallel universe in a multi-universe because it would be infinitely stupid and redundant. But anyway, never go on. But ultimately, liberating for them yes i am driven by serving my god and it's liberating it's freedom though 
this association or through this association they are freed from their earthbound problems at least for a time I focus on serving my God I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses I do not hide from that some people hate the fact that I'm a Jehovah's Witness and I tell them they can sit and spin but you shouldn't say that I mean because you're a Jehovah's Witness you're not supposed to be talking like that what I just said a person could sit and spin what's wrong with that conversation now again remember I'm the one with the imagination so if it takes your imagination to understand how you can sit and spin on one and sit and spin on the other at the exact same time talking about a dual spin you we have washing machines that have dual spin okay that's right anyway December 16th people are capable of feats requiring titanic energies <laughs> yes I am once they are directed towards an inspiring but also realistic goal there is little that can stop them from achieving far-reaching success in their work look so many people have told me about my success in so many different areas let me tell you I told you all my life I have either been the first or among the top three I've never come in last I've never come in second to last I've never come in third to last even if it was a three-man race never okay ever 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 pay attention it says yet they can be easily sidetracked and fall prey to all sorts of slights real or imagined annoyances and to them trivial problems involving other people's feelings now I tell people what I do is I feel what other people feel and that's been a distraction and so again this junk is accurate concerning people now I'm not saying it's concerning uh, astrology astronomy all that stupid stuff no what I'm saying that it's accurate because it deals with personalities and it deals with commonalities of people born a certain period of time but that's not to say that people born in February March or April don't have the same traits okay this could be said about everyone okay because remember it at one point said the person was energetic but then it would also say the person is seeking solitude so there there are some contradictions but I am a contradiction I'm a living walking contradiction all right let's continue living on what may or may not be a high spiritual plane look see you cannot do this on what may or may not be excuse me does that make sense to you that's what I'm saying accurate but not accurate at the same time did you just say the same thing they just said may or may not be and you said accurate and not accurate at the same time did you just say they... exactly um, metaphysical cloud they can have trouble relating to those mere mortals busy with more mundane and petty considerations I will tell you for a certainty that a lot of people's problems seem trivial to me and I do have a problem relating to the common people why because their level of thinking is not the same as mine are you saying that you're in a higher plane than everybody else no I'm saying that my level of thinking is not the same as everybody else my level of thinking is more intellectual than it is for most people but my intellect is not the same as another person's intellect no matter how they think their intellect is the fact that we might have a few things in common doesn't mean we have anything in common and that's what people don't get just because you have something in common with me doesn't make the fact that we can be friends most of my friends are people who don't have something in common with me but as of this time here on this planet I have one friend I have my son two friends and hmm that's it my best friend Kevin still in my memory hasn't gone nowhere although he passed away over 26 years ago he's still in my memory um, my son best friend although we have no communication still my best friend but the rest of you can't fit in that boat because I'm very picky very particular about whom I choose you cannot worm your way in you cannot 
get close to me to where I would continue to be a best friend because my standards are not what you think. I, best friend, friendship means something to me. It means something to me. Working out the emotional problems, learning to trust and love more fully. These are matters that can only be dealt with through interaction and encounters with others. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't trust people. Okay? It says, thus, their mates, friends, and children play a crucial role in their lives. Now, please understand, I did not read this. But as you see, my best friend, who passed away, and my son play a crucial role in my life, even to this day. Okay. Explosive reactions alternating with remoteness and indifference, manic periods followed by depression, and a high highs of laughter and depths of deep silence are all colors found in December 16th palettes. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see how these contradict themselves? First, it says remoteness and indifference, manic periods followed by depression. Okay, then we have highs of laughter and depths of silence. Excuse me? I thought they were supposed to be depressed. Okay, anyway, the most successful of those born on this date find expressions of their high idealism and feeling through creative work, hobbies, I write stories. I write the songs that make the whole world sing. Anyway, and social activities. Well, I have no social activities other than the fact I do these stupid videos on YouTube. Stupid! Stupid. Anyway, thus they are able to communicate with and touch their fellow humans being through shared interests. I don't have no shared interests with anyone. Now, let's deal with the health because I want you to focus on this compared to what I've told you about my health. December 16th people often suffer from a variety of seemingly vague and hidden physical complaints. Sometimes these difficulties have strong psychosomatic overtones. Okay, chronic problems with their digestive and internal organs may arise over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I do have some gastrointestinal issues. When I say gastro, I am not talking about, oh, I got a lot of gas and heartburn. I'm not talking about that, so some people won't get it. Upper and lower GI. GI, gastrointestinal. Okay? So, upper and lower GI complications, meaning kidney, liver, damage during the operation. And stomach. My stomach doesn't like onions. My stomach, it's like onions are like an ulcer. They eat through the walls of my stomach, so I can't do onions anymore. I'm actually allergic to onions now. Okay, let's continue. It says, but perhaps can be headed off with a healthy diet. All I have to do is change my diet? I don't think so. Let's continue. Practically, one stresses fresh, healthy fiber, vegetables, and grains. Sorry, high fiber, a lot of pain. So can't do high fiber. Outdoor activities of all types, admirable suits the December 16th need for exercise as well as maintaining contact with nature. I love nature. That's why I don't mind being in the mountains. Numerology. I don't give up about numerology. Numerology is not an art. It's not reality. Uh, oh, see this junk right here? I don't care about this stuff right there. This is bull crap, okay? And, whew, good. That's the end of it. Care about no Titan? All right. So that's that's that junk. When I saw it, the person sent it to me. I decided to take a look at it. Like I said, I don't deal with tarot cards and none of that stuff. Okay. I know this is talking about the Quatom lawsuit that we talked about earlier. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I've shown you everything else. What I do want you to know, and if you get a chance, just go and take a look at this. When you get a chance, ladies and gentlemen, I think you will find the right of review. This is called uh, Administrative Remedies. You've been dealt with by the administrative courts and they treated you a certain way. 
you can do what's called an administrative writ of mandamus. You can find that online, administrative writ of mandamus, and if you do it right, you might achieve some success. Getting back to the Social Security information, Social Security being a bank, Social Security has more than one routing number. So the more routing numbers you can find, ladies and gentlemen, I told you, you must understand what Tinder is. Once you understand what Tinder is, then you can force your instrument. What you need to understand is Tinder is an offer, but just because it's an offer doesn't actually make it Tinder. Every offer includes a Tinder, but not every Tinder includes an offer. See, I said that backwards. That's why you have to do your research. Every Tinder includes an offer, but not every offer includes a Tinder. So what you must get is your deed of trust is an offer and a tender and per the so-called statute when it is tendered and they put the stamp paid to the order of without recourse that shows acceptance and nobody's arguing that so I'm giving you that little tidbit so that you can argue but you have to study up on tender to understand what's going on by the way what I just said some of you who've been having your tender reject it I suggested that you understand what tender is and it won't be rejected no more you have to enforce your own instrument but you can't enforce it if you don't know what you're doing and many of you simply don't know what you're doing so ladies and gentlemen gentlemen and ladies ladies and gents I'm gonna let you get back to your lives because I got some documents I have to put together uh, for several people and so let me let you guys take care of what you need to take care of and we will talk have this conversation later. Have a good day, all of you. And may life continue to treat you well. Oh, and don't take anything I say personally. <laughs> unless it was meant to be personal. Alright, goodbye. <laughs>